So we would like to talk about file storage. There's a number of ways we can store file information. One of them is with text-based files. The other is with measurement files. Measurement files write things to the disk in binary format. And the only thing that you can really do is to read back with the same type of thing. You have to know what the data is format is in order to do that. These make really nice, compact, condensed files, but they're not readable by the average person, and it's really difficult to decipher that information. Most times, what we do is we write text. Now, you have a couple of options. One is to use these uh, APIs here to create and write text files, and a text file is nothing more than a continuous string of characters stored on the disk. Okay, there is no formatting or anything like that unless you specifically add it. Okay, LabVIEW also has these two elements one is called write and the other is called read delimited spreadsheet. Okay, these are really nice tools because what they allow you to do is to take a piece of data, and in this case, I have some two dimensional array data, and I'm going to go write it to it. I can specify what that format is. In this case, it's going to do three decimal places, okay? And if I don't tell it what file path, it's going to ask me for that file path. Now, this is kind of nice, but what you get back from this is you get a data file that has either two rows of numbers or two columns of numbers. And, and if your data is in the wrong format and you need to flip it, it's easily enough to do. You just simply tell it right here to create a constant for the uh, transpose function and tell it to turn on transpose. And that will flip it from row mode to column mode. Depending on how your data is formatted when it's coming in, you may or may not want to turn this on. Usually though, we are going to want something else here. We're going to want to have column headers so we know what we are. So in this case, I have this two-dimensional array, and what we're simulating here is that we have data that we've taken with our data acquisition board. So I have one channel of data that is, say, voltage, and another channel of data that is pressure, okay? So what I'm going to do is to force this to write headers for me. So the first thing I have to do is to create what that data set is that's coming in, and these are string constants, okay? So now I need to get in here though and to make this guy long enough so we can do this. And since I have two rows and two columns, okay, oops, I need to have headers in for both sets. So we're gonna call this channel, one, and we'll call the other one channel two. And channel one is in PSI, and oh, I don't know, channel two is in, what should we call him? Oh, let's just say he's in gallons per second, okay? So now we've got headers there and everything else. And we can actually use this same function to write our text headers by coming to the format, we're going to create a constant for the format, and we're just gonna change this guy to say percent %s, okay? Or s for string, all right? Now what we're going to do is to bring this data in, two dimensions, oops, I got it on the wrong terminal. Always frustration when that happens. Try this again. Gotta get it on the 2D terminal, there we go. There's the 2D terminal. So it's going to write the, the string data, okay? The next thing we can do is we can take the path data and loop it from this one down to this one, okay? So now when I run this one, it's gonna ask me for what file I wanna save. Then it's gonna pass that same file name down to the, the next write. We have one more really, really important thing to do, and that is right here, we have to create a constant for the append function. The append function says, don't go out there and replace the file, 
but add to it, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me. So what we have here, we'll go ahead and, and execute this, okay? And it's going to ask me first for the file. So let's just go do this on the, in C temp, and we'll call this test text file dot txt. Do not, whatever you do, even though you're writing what's known as a spreadsheet file here, do not give it the Excel, uh, XLS or uh, format because those are specific binary formats. If you try to open it in Excel, it's not going to understand what that is. So we've done that. So now let's go get to uh, the temp directory here. C temp. And we should have, there's our text file we just opened. And you can see there's channel one PSI, there's channel two gallons per second, and there's my values. If you want to open this in a Excel, we can come up here, we can open a new file, new, here's a new workbook for us. And what we're going to do is to drag and drop this guy out to here. And you can see we get channel one and channel two. And let's just wrap our text on there so we can see that it's all in one column. Very simple process. That's all there is to it.